So what we do is you just go to um, East West Play, and this is the new Play uh, library that they that coincides with uh, all the East West products right now. Um, all you gotta do is pick an instrument. Let's pick uh, violins, a uh, long lyric. Just double click it, and then it'll load up, and these sound fantastic. Now you have all kinds of different articulations. You have Q leg, that's legato. That means that it it, it uh, connects the notes very well. Run simulator, that will allow you to do uh, notes a lot faster. Expression, uh, short on the short range, you have collegno, you have marcato, quick up down, marcato for the, the bowing, uh, spiccato, you have all kinds of things. Effects, this is all nothing but effects. Um, so take a look, there are so many great instruments here to choose from and so many great uh, articulations. They're very, very, very realistic. Now over here is the mod wheel uh, using the DXF. Now I mentioned in my early tutorial that the two basic things you want to think about in order to sound very realistic are the volume and the timbre, um, especially with slower, slower sounding instruments like when violins play, when strings play slow. When they swell, they affect their volume and they affect their timbre. Now the great thing about this is that I'm gonna just load up this one, plus uh, press replace. The great thing about this is that it does both. It affects both things at the same time. Some libraries you have to do them separately with expression and volume uh, on separately, but this affects it both at the same time. It affects it with the mod wheel. So I press down a note and just press the mod wheel, and this is what happens. See, you can you can get some really really awesome sounds, and you just got to get uh, better at using that mod wheel, and uh, uh, and you can go back, you can edit it if you want to edit it. So I'll record something. Okay, if I go in the piano roll, um, it's in the hyper draw, and it is under the uh, modulation uh, menu. So you just go there and then you can click all the things that we use, you know, a pencil tool you can you can use to, to change it up. Um, so that's the DXF. Over here are called key switches. Now key switches are amazing. Uh, let me load up the master here. Um, normally uh, when you have, for example, first violins. First violins are going to play all kinds of different articulations through a song. Uh, they can play, you know, staccato, uh, sustained notes, uh, marcato notes. And so, if you have an, a song where your instruments are playing multiple uh, articulations, one method is that you can have, you know, multiple tracks with the same instrument with different articulations and just separate the notes. Um, I'm working on some ballets for the library right now, and I import the finale. Uh, files into Logic, and that's what I've been doing for a while. And but it, it it really is tedious because you have to separate all the notes, create two tracks, create two uh, regions, you know, that were identical, and then delete the ones that you don't want in each respective track. Uh, a faster method and a little bit easier is to create these key switch instruments. What it does is you have the normal instrument, but you also have all these blue notes are your key switches, and so it'll switch between sustained or all the articulations that it has. So just by pressing the note down here and these lower notes starting from C0 all the way up, your your instrument automatically turns into another instrument. And so all those things are loaded. If you press this button, you can see all these articulations. You got uh, just a ton. So C0, when you press that, it's sustained vi vibrato. If I press F0, tremolo. If I press C sharp 1, that's harmonics. Now you don't have to use all these, so if you're not using them, just uh, unactivate and unload them. Uh, that'll save you a lot of memory um, for that. Um, 
Now, let me show you how to upload a finale file, uh, uh, just in case you would like to. Um, oh, let, let, let me say one more about the key switching. So let's take a look at this, um, close this right here. So starting off, what I've been doing with these ballets is that I would just input C0, for example. I want C0 to be right there. I want that articulation. Ease, ease E1, I think that's a... That's a staccato. So all I gotta do is just press down where these notes are and then I'll get the articulations to come through. So here we go. So you can either record it and play the key switches at the same time and record it, or you can play the whole thing and you go in afterwards and pencil in these key switches and it'll play magnificently. Now, um, this is what I've been doing with these ballets that I have. I mean, I've got, you know, maybe about two hours worth of music I've got to switch over. And so this key switching has really been of a speed up the process. This is the final product of what it sounds like. So not, not too bad. Um, now, if you want to import uh, Finale files into Logic, all you got to do is open up the Finale file, go up to File, Save As, and then save it where you want it, and put it as a standard MIDI file. That will allow it, and then save it. That will allow it to be turned into, uh, to be imported into Logic. Then after you're done with that, it'll turn into this file. Go to Logic, and go to Import, and find the file. Let's see, it's... Julian Act 4, this file. Notice that the other MIDI file is not, you can't, you can't upload it, so it has to be a standard MIDI file. Open that, and then it will start importing all these notes. Now, sometimes it doesn't import them the way you kind of want it, which is why I want to talk about that a little bit. Now, the great thing is that it does import the notes, but sometimes the notes, for example, there's only three string notes here. Uh, the bass and the cello are usually on the, the, the same notes but just an octave apart so I can fix that easy I can just du duplicate it and change the octaves uh, sometimes with the viola or the violin the second violins and the viola are on the same track so I'll, it's kinda tedious I have to go through and and duplicate them then separate them by deleting the ones that are not on those respective tracks and sometimes uh, it'll be the first violin here that's actually just first violin notes um, so that's kind of a pain. Sometimes it's not always like that, but it's kind of nice that you have all the notes here. Um, so when you're importing things into into Finale, first thing you want to do is so when I play, you want to you want to upload the play instruments, the really nice instruments. When I just play it as is, this is what you get. You get some weird instruments from from GarageBand and EXS24 that don't sound aren't even right half the time. So first of all, first thing you want to do is load up the play instruments that sound really great. Second thing you want to do is you want to correct the extreme velocities. Now this one is you don't see it as much in this one, uh, but a lot of the times, for example, when you have accents in finale or when you have forte in finale, it it interprets it and it exaggerates it, and it will give you red uh, velocities or orange velocities, and usually those are too too high of velocities. Uh, this looks just from looking at it. I'm guessing that these yellow should actually be green. It's just it's just too high velocities, and some of these blue ones maybe should be up a little bit higher. Um, so second thing you want to do is just correct the extreme velocities. Um, third thing you want to do is you can either create multiple tracks for different articulations per instrument, like I like I did before, or you can use these key switches, which is a little bit faster, and just punch in where you want the art what the articulations to be. The fourth thing you can do is the automation. You can do the previous uh, method that I showed you earlier where you change the volume uh, based on the expression of, of the phrases, uh, like in the Nutcracker, or you can just use the DXF. Now, when you have slower passages, this is more important because you know that, that's, that's what you notice more. If it's a faster passage, you probably won't notice it more, um, though you still want to have some. So you want the fourth thing you want to have is some kind of uh, expression coming through and usually a lot of times it's it can be coming through the DXF instruments. 
the, the last thing is you want to do, worry about the tempo. Uh, now you don't need to have an extreme tempo change, just a few notches here and there, um, but having this, just those few notches really makes a big difference in terms of making it sound more human. Um, sometimes uh, Finale, when you import it into from Finale, it would give you some sort of tempo changes, but a, a lot of times they're 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 just not quite right, and, and so you got to go back and you got to uh, change those things around. Okay, so those are things, and 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 all these things are kind of all these things are kind of um, are affecting the presence of the instruments. When you're using MIDI instruments like this, first of all, play the play East West instruments are just some of the best instruments I've ever heard, um, and that that's the first good step. But you want to think about the presence of the instruments. Most of the times, for me, what makes it sound fake is if they're too loud or if their presence is off. Um, if you take a listen to this a little bit better, again, uh, I think the presence is pretty, pretty close. Uh, usually what happens is people will have the presence of the instruments too loud or they'll stick out. Maybe it's the snare, maybe it's the strings, maybe it's the trumpet. Uh, they'll just stick out way too much and and you know that in a real orchestra that sound would not stick out so much and that's what gives it away as being kind of fake so usually you want to pull back a little bit and have it all have all the instruments really sit in that in that good presence level okay um, let's talk about some effects that you can some tips that you can use um, there's if you press H you can hide some of these just click on this then press H again, and it will hide those instruments. This is really important when you have multiple multiple instruments. You want to organize. You don't want you don't want to kind of get things out of the way. Um, if you put your cursor right here, uh, and you get the finger coming popping up, then you can zoom in or zoom out this uh, by a certain degree. You can say, okay, this this track is going to be minus tw 15 more than every other track. So when I zoom all the tracks, that one stays at a relative level as compared to the other tracks. On the other hand, let's say I want this track to always be bigger because I'm always working on it and I want to make the other ones a little bit smaller. So I'll make that one really big plus 30, 31 and even though the other ones are, are really small, that one stays really big. Or you can do multiple ones and does and it's not the zoom, if you press Z, that'll zoom one track, uh, but this way um, will just keep those whichever ones you want it to be zoomed and it won't change as you're moving up and down the tracks. Um, if you okay if you go over here click on this arrow you can change the icon double click that and you can say oh I want that to be this or I want it to be this just take a look at these icons this can help you um, organize things a little better it's really nice Okay, um, if you press uh, Control, click on an instrument, and go to con Configure Track Header, uh, click on this freeze, um, and what this freeze does, click on it, and then press spacebar. This will freeze um, all the tracks that are f that are frozen into like a a, con a a temporary audio file in one of your folders and so it won't use the memory that it normally uses especially for east west when things get really hairy you really need this function um, i was exporting some ballets that only had 12 tracks they use some key switches that's why they're so so uh, beastly on them on the memory and i tried to export them like three or four times and they always overloaded until i froze them it only it didn't work now when you freeze them if you try and change the notes, it won't let you change because it's frozen. It's like exported, a temporary uh, audio export. So you got to unfreeze it, and then change it, and then click it back, and then it'll refreeze itself, and you'll keep going. So freezing really, really saves on lots of memory that, that you need. 